Well, over the weekend, we lost three celebrities who made so many people happy. Dr. Ruth Westheimer, Richard Simmons, and Shannon Doherty. ABC's Danny New looks back on the impact they made with their lives. Hello, you're on the air. Over the weekend, we lost three icons who, especially in the 1980s, inspired and educated millions with their unique infusions of positivity and warmth. Do you have changed sex for America? I do. You have changed sex. Starting in 1980 with her radio program and then eventual syndicated TV show, Dr. Ruth Westheimer started a dialogue about the bedroom that usually was too uncomfortable to have, but she had nothing to lose. Let her guide you how she needs to be touched. A child of Orthodox Jewish parents in Germany, Dr. Ruth escaped the Holocaust with a group of children in a Swiss orphanage and never saw her family again. Since I survived, I have an obligation to do something to repair this world. I didn't know that that was talking about sex from morning to night. <laughs> Are you using contraceptives? <laughs> As you can tell, she never lost her sense of humor. So after reaching America in 1956, earning her doctorate in education from Columbia in 1970, and beginning her research into human sexuality shortly after, the combination of her wit, German accent, and jovial grandma vibes made Dr. Ruth the oddly perfect person to start fielding calls on this topic once deemed too racy to discuss. I would like to see even more men and more women to be what I call sexually illiterate. Her children announced that she passed away peacefully at her home in New York City just a month after celebrating her 96th birthday. They can do some nice exercise, then they can have some good sex. I think that the people who enjoy a very good sexual activity mm -hmm. after 55 are those that have had some respect for their body. And while Dr. Ruth made it okay to talk about certain physical activities, Richard Simmons was there to help you try many more and in sequence. Now, back. In the 1980s, the image of this Louisiana native's curly red hair, short shorts, and endless energy helped millions of people strive for healthier lives. After his experience as a 250-pound teenager in New Orleans, the man once called the Clown Prince of Fitness had a mission to help others who also wanted to lose weight like he once did. You know, I was so different, it seemed, from everybody else. Let's win. Well, with videotapes of sweating to the oldies flying off the shelves, countless infomercials, <laughs> and memorable talk show appearances, Simmons achieved that dream, even eventually speaking to Congress in 2008 about children's physical education. I do not want any child in America to have my childhood. Just a day after his 76th birthday, Simmons died at his Los Angeles home on Saturday. A spokesperson for the local police department said it appeared to be from natural causes. Transitioning now from one advocate to an actress who became known as one later in life, Shannon Doherty was 53 years old. If it's all right. After first appearing to audiences with roles in Little House on the Prairie and Our House. Guess who? She then stole scenes in a red scrunchie as Heather Duke in the 1989 coming of age dark comedy Heathers. <laughs> but it was a year later when Beverly Hills 90210 premiered that Doherty became a household name. A few years later, Doherty once again scored a hit with Charmed. Her health struggles began in 2015 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer that had spread to her lymph nodes and then eventually to her brain and her bones in the coming years. You and I always talk about the fact that like, we just need to squeeze out another three to five years. In late 2023, she launched a podcast, letting folks in on her private fight and frequently bringing on medical guests to educate her listeners. In December, she appeared on Good Morning America to discuss that project, talking about how she would not let this diagnosis take away her joy. And laughter is always the best medicine. And as of this broadcast, Doherty's final podcast episode posted was last Monday, catching up with her former Charmed co-star, Holly Marie Combs. In New York for ABC News, I'm Danny New.